Hi, I'm Daniela O'Neill and I'm a professor of child development at the University of Waterloo. Today I want to tell you about one of the games in the Kitchener Public Library's board game collection for young children that's called The Little Orchard by Haba. And this board game collection is one that I helped curate and develop together with Kitchener Public Library. So this is one of the first games that I got to know from Haba and I just loved it and I still do. And so let me uh, show you a little bit about how this game works. It's a cooperative game. So here we have um, what will become the board game, um, that, a board that we're going to be working on. And when you open the box, you have these different materials. So I'm just going to take these all out here. And as with often with these habit games, there's wonderful kind of 3D pieces that are in wood and with really beautiful illustrations. So the first thing that happens in this game is the tree is put here in the orchard. And this part of the setup, of course, is part of the game and part of what you can um, do with your child as you're uh, playing it. And, you know, there's lots of things on this picture that you could talk about. There's hedgehogs, ravens, bunnies, a mouse, a cat. And so that, you know, make that a uh, part of the game as well. Uh, the raven will start the game here. Uh, and then you have this little basket that's going to become important in when you start collecting your cherries. Now, how lovely are these little cherries? These ones you hang up on the tree. And the this is a cooperative game, and so there isn't going to be one winner. Rather, those who are playing are going to either win as a team against the raven, or uh, the raven's going to win. So there are these lovely flower cards. Again, this is something you can just set them up, uh, let's say, uh, in any order, or maybe uh, you want to turn it into a sorting game, or your child does, and so you could um, put them down uh, in their different uh, categories. And these cards will be ones that you turn over in the game, um, depending on the roll of the die. So here we have the die for this game, and it has, uh, as you can see, flowers on it that match the colors of these flowers. And then there is also one extra uh, space, which is the sun here. Uh, the sun will mean that you can pick any flower. So the way that this uh, game goes is you want to get all these cherries off of the tree and into your basket as a team before the raven gets to the tree and gets some of your cherries. So let's begin. Here I've rolled the red rose. So this would be uh, the cards that we're going to choose from. A player can choose any of them. Let's choose this one. And that's great. We've gotten already some cherries off the tree and we can take those off and put them in our basket. And then play continues this way. And here we now have a raven card. That means the raven moves one more space towards the tree. So now there's four more spaces for the raven and four more cherries. And you just continue seeing who uh, kind of gets to all the cherries first. This is uh, a card where there's just an animal sleeping, which means uh, nothing happens on that trial and play continues. And so together you just keep going and hopefully you get those cherries off the tree uh, before the raven does. And if not, then uh, you can always try again to beat the raven. And that is The Little Orchard by Heather.